Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Nate Penda. If you are tuned in today, you will be seeing my nighttime skincare routine. I hope that that explains the scarf. I couldn't find my bonnet and I'm not ready to take my wig off for y'all yet. So, I did just go ahead and throw in any random scarf that I found. But, if you're interested in seeing what my skincare routine looks like, make sure you keep on watching. If you're not already, go ahead and subscribe and let's get into the video. So the first product that I'm going to go in with is the Neutrogena Makeup Removing Wipes. Um, this is the only makeup removing wipes that I ever used. And if you guys noticed, I was being very deliberate in the fact that I was swiping up. When it comes to taking off any makeup um, or applying moisturizers to your face, you always want to swipe up because swiping down will you're essentially dragging your face so that can help to increase the amount of wrinkles that you have or give you premature wrinkles so you always want to swipe up as much as you can typically I do use two wipes when it comes to taking off my makeup I use both sides of one wipe and then I get a fresh wipe just to make sure that I'm getting off as much makeup as possible and if you guys notice I did leave on my lashes as I was removing my makeup and the reason why I do that is because the moisture from the makeup removal wipes helps to loosen up the eye glue so that by the time I'm ready to take the lashes off they're super super easy to come off so as you guys see it didn't pull it didn't tug and it just easily came off because it was already a little moistened in order to remove the eyeliner and the mascara from my eyes I just use micellar water on a cotton round and I go ahead and just rub that area in order to remove any um, extra dirt next I use the clean and clear morning burst uh, cleanser and I know that it says morning burst but I personally feel like there's no such thing as a face wash that's only for the morning or only for the night I believe that you can use it during any time and as you guys see as I'm applying it I'm just swiping up and really getting it into my skin and once I wash it I just use a dry paper towel and pat down as I told you guys before next I'm going back in with my mess micellar water and I'm applying it to a cotton round um, the reason why I use micellar water after I've already washed my face is because most times just using a cleanser on your face isn't going to completely have it clear of all of the oil and the dirt and makeup. So I just use the micellar water as an extra step in order to get rid of anything that was on my face that I didn't get rid of once I washed it. And what you guys will see is that I'll show you the cotton round and it'll have a little bit more makeup on it. But then I'll go back in for a second time. And during that second time, there's literally no makeup left on the cotton round. Next, I'm going to go in with my Thayer's Witch Hazel Aloe Vera Formula. It is an alcohol-free toner and it has lavender. And I just apply this again in upwards motions all over my face, but I especially pay attention to my cheeks where I have my dark spots. If you guys did watch my 20 skincare do's and don'ts, you see that this toner definitely helps when it comes to fading away my dark spots so it is a must next I'm going in with the drunk elephant glycolic night serum and I'm mixing that into the drunk elephant whipped cream um, when it comes to this night serum I typically use it once or twice a week and I spread out how often I use it just because it is a chemical exfoliator so it's not something that they suggest or recommend you use every single day um, but when I do use it, it does the thing that every other exfoliator does, which is it helps to remove your dead skin cells so that your new skin can appear. Um, and the reason why I like the whipped cream is because it is super hydrating and moisturizing. But what I will say is that it's very expensive. So typically what I've done since I've gotten a sample size of it is just continue to get samples from Sephora and that works perfectly for me. Um, but I also have an alternative moisturizer that I'll link in the description box down below. Next I'm going in with my Mario Badescu Glycolic Eye Cream. When it comes to using eye cream, a lot of people think, oh, you're too young to be using that. But a tip that I found or the tip that I saw that I try to follow is you don't want to take care of your skin for where you are. You kind of want to take care of your skin for where you want it to be. So using an eye cream helps to prevent wrinkles and it just helps to keep your um, the skin underneath your eye moisturized and hydrated just to prevent it from drying out. Next, I'm going in with the Jack Black Lip Balm. I really love this. It's moisturizing. You can also get it from Sephora, but you can use any lip balm you want, and that's it. So as you guys can see, my skin is glowing, it's hydrated, it's moisturized, and that's really all that I do for my nighttime skincare routine. I'll be sure to link all of the items down below as well as some affordable options. If you haven't, make sure you go ahead and check out my previous videos, which will be on the screen above. Make sure you subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. Until next time.